Hi, my name is Maggie, and I am 10 years old, and I live in Bethel Park. The name of my story is The Day in a Life of a Cell. It was a cold and chilly day, and six-year-old Colin Winters had just been let out of kindergarten. When Colin was sitting on the bus on the way home, he started to chew on his fingernails. I, for one, was exhausted by this action. I am a lymphocyte white blood cell. I take care of getting rid of viral and bacterial illnesses. Colin didn't realize what he was doing to his body every day. When he chewed on his fingernails, he was putting dead skin cells, dirt, bacteria, germs, and I could go on and on into his body. From all of the other days of battling viruses, I knew that today would be the hardest day of all because Colin had just input flu into his circulatory system. That meant the other cells and I had to work harder to get flu out. Since flu was here, we had to put on our brave faces and get prepared. First, I sent some other lymphocytes to form a battle line where flu had got in. Next, I got into my battle line and stood in a ready position. Finally, we waited. Two hours later, flu made his war mark, and we made ours. Charge! he yelled. Suddenly, Flu's army came bolting at us. When we went into war, Flu and his army had the advantage because their numbers were larger than ours. The only reason we were winning was because we had more efficiency and experience. Seven days later, the fight was wrapping up and Flu's army was almost defeated with a very sore loss. The only problem was that Flu was still thriving and fighting. He was injured in multiple places, but he was still trying to achieve victory. Two days later, Flu's army was defeated. But just when we were closing in on Flu, he said, Wait, I'm sorry that I attacked you. You can close in on me now. So, we did. That day, all the cells were content and cherished by the red blood cells, and we held a party for the defeat of Flu.